This time on Dog Strip, we dust off the hamster and build some custom rims that fit the biggest ATV tires we have. Then it's off to go play in the snow, a winter wonderland of fun. For a quick recap, the Hamster is our very first dog strip project car, going all the way back into the wee years of 2015, when we chopped and shortened a Ford Festiva. Since then, she has taken us on many adventures and has continued to evolve along the way. For those of you that remember the Hamster, this is where it's been sitting for over a year. So, let's see if he'll start. This is where the Hamster has sat for the last year, unused, and unloved. Time to dust it off, reconnect the battery, and hope for the best. All right, this is a 1990 Ford Festiva. Stock other than body modifications. It's been sitting for over a year. It's minus 20 Celsius. Let's see if it starts. Weird backfire. Yeah. It's Once those noisy valve adjusters calmed down, we confirmed the car could move and stop. Next, it's into the garage to work in a more civilized temperature. Now, onto the fabrication stage. From this pile of tires and rims, we plan to build this. A pair of double rims from factory rims in order to fit 26 by 11 R12 ATV tires onto the hamster. Step 1. Remove the outer lip of the first rim using the edge of the safety bead as a guide for a straight cut. Step 2. Remove the outer lip from the second rim in the same fashion. Step 3. Remove the center of the rim. Boom! Step 4. Clean newly cut surfaces on both rims. Obsessed over this for far too long. Embrace your OCD. Then, when you've had enough, weld a few tacks to hold them together. Step 5. Roll the rim back and forth to see if things are true. Measure between the lips and make sure everything is equal. Step 6. Once everything is good enough and you don't care anymore, weld all the way around the rim. This needs to be an airtight weld, so do the best you can. Step 7. Off camera, weld up the second unnecessary valve stem hole. Pick whichever one is your least favorite. Step K. The kitty break. What? Meow. Hey, you doing? That's not a bed. It's not a bed or a secure spot whatsoever. What? That was a clean blanket. Okay, you're just laying on an engine. That's a blanket on an engine. Fine, then you just you just stay there and supervise. For those of you unfamiliar, this is Hobo, a neighborhood stray that started staying with us about three years ago. He comes and goes as he pleases and sleeps in our project cars. But come winter months, this is his safe space. Meow. A heated room with a heated bed. He's a good kitty. This is how the rim fitment looks. With offset becoming extreme, this puts more strain on the suspension and the steering components. Not recommended for your daily driver. So now what we're going to do is mount some tires on these rims. Well, let's just throw all caution to the wind. Go to the biggest tire first and see if that fits. Hi, this is Ron Jeremy. You're listening to Porno Sun. Jesus Christ, that always scares the shit out of you. Robo did not like loud sounds, so he has found the other chair. 
You're so scared. Now we test fit the tire. It sticks out as to be expected. Perhaps some slight clearance adjustments need to be made. Extra clearance is always a hammer away. Slight was then upgraded to minor. Then rapidly promoted from minor to obscene. With clearance gained and air in the tires, we slip out onto the street for some quick quality control checks. Self-trimming tires. Now show the people at home how much fun it is to get into the hamster. Oh my god. Don't get the carpet dirty. Yeah. With all the neighbors thoroughly impressed, we take the hamster out onto the open road. We need some real world test data. Let's see how smooth this will be. And then we turn, let's bump the heat up just a little bit. This is done. You guys don't want more feet? Yeah, there we go. You need to. Yeah. Smooth. How's the turning radius with these big tires? Noisy. Spikes down. Yep. This way. Yep, there you go. They work. Success. Now we move on to the next test location. Up in the hills, we follow a few ATV trails, testing these tires in their applicable terrain. Second gear, lots of RPM, all the RPMs. With all the testing completed, we have come to the conclusion that these tires are a wee bit too big. There is clearly too much tire rub when the car bounces around. Oh well, they're still fun, they still look awesome, and we can't wait to try them out in the mud come summertime. Welcome to the end of the video! Next time on Dog Strip, we get back to Project Dreadnought, our newest Gambler 500 rig. We peel the Cadillac body from its chassis. Then we peel a body from a motorhome chassis. Guess what? We put the two together. Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video. Give us a thumbs up if you like what we're doing. Some slight issue here. The That's... car is self-mending. It's got clearance now. It's sentient. Uh-huh. Hi. It sucks. It sucks. You have a warm place. <laughs>